G'day guys, Corey Hind. I hope you're doing well. Something that is really frustrating for business owners is when their images that they upload get rejected by Google. So Google Business Profile has been rejecting more images now than before. And for some people, it's hard to understand why that is. So let's go through the reasons that we've found so you can try and figure out if these apply to you. If they don't, if you work through these few reasons and you still feel like you're compliant and they shouldn't be getting rejected, we do have some resources at the end. So there's a link to Google support, there's a link to the Twitter account for Google Business Profile, and there's also a link to the Google Business Profile support. So check those links in the description and you can click on those, go straight there. But usually in my experience, most images that are getting rejected do fall under the reasons I've got here. In fact, all of the ones I've seen in our work apply here. So you'll see this sometimes, you've uploaded an image and it comes back and says rejected. Looks like that and that can be really, really frustrating. So let's get down here and have a look at the reasons why. So number one could be that it's inappropriate. You know, Google doesn't like and shouldn't like things that they deem inappropriate. So anything around anything dangerous or any hate speech, anything like that. So be aware of that. They've def definitely tightened up on that in the last year or so. There's a link here, which we'll have in the description as well for the Cloud Vision API, which will help you. But there's also some guidelines at the end of the video about what is inappropriate. I don't see this very often, but it's definitely something to be aware of is that inappropriate content issue. Number two, and this is, certainly a reason I've seen and comes up more and more is that if you don't own the rights to the photo, Google will pick that up. So the AI is far better at detecting this stuff now than it used to be. And in the early days of Google Business Profile or Google My Business, as it was called, people would just grab photos from anywhere, upload them, and really they didn't have the legal right to that imagery. So therefore shouldn't have been using that and weren't complying with the Google rules at that time, but they were getting away with it. Okay, so now Google's AI is generally picking that up and rejecting the photo. So be aware of that. Okay, and to be fair to everybody on planet Earth, you should have the right to the images before you even consider using them. Low quality. So we definitely see this one as well. So Google's goal, as always, is to give people the best possible experience. So if the image is not the right quality, it's blurry or it's just not a good shot, that'll get rejected. We've seen this happen quite a few times for people who contact us and ask us why, and it's pretty obvious that the quality of the image is just not there, and Google doesn't want to have crappy images on their platform. Makes sense, right? Number four is the sizing. This one's really, really common. Generally, photos that are too small. So people have gone below, I think it's 300 pixels either way, they've gone too small, tried to upload that, and Google's just said no. And, which is fair enough, because if it's too small, it'll get expanded upon and it'll become blurry, so it'll go up into that low quality thing. So be aware of the size issues, there's more about that in the Google guidelines, so just click onto the Google support below, you'll, you'll learn more about that. This one does pop up from time to time, too many photos. So sometimes, and you'll see this on other platforms as well, like Facebook, if you do too much at once, the algorithm goes, whoa, whoa, something's weird here, this is not right, and it'll just turn you off. So if you've done a whole stack of photos at once, that might be a problem. So the solution is just do them in small batches or maybe go there every second day and upload some photos. That might be a more appropriate way to use the images. Keep in mind that you might be uploading images as a photo on Google Business Profile, or you might be uploading images added to an update. They, they can both get rejected. We're talking here about both, so just be aware of that. This one has been really notable in the last six months, a Google bug. So no one really knows why, but sometimes a photo will get rejected, and there's no reason for that. But if you go back and try that same photo, 24 to 48 hours later, it gets through. So it, it's a bit weird, but that definitely does happen. So just be aware of that. I've seen this, I've seen this discussed in the SEO and Google Business Profile groups quite a lot. It's a real thing. So just be aware of that. Sometimes there is no reason, 
just go back and try again. This next one is also reasonably new, I think, is that if it's a brand new listing or it's been reinstated, Google kind of puts a two week handbrake on it. So lots of things can't be done on those listings, including the images. So you just have to sit on your hands and wait. And this last reason is something that has been around for a while. Too much text. Uh, sometimes people would put URLs on images or phone numbers on images or just too much text generally or even text too close to the edges. So all of those apply. All of those reasons could be the reasons why your images aren't getting through. So work through those. Any questions, comment below. And in the description for this video, there will be some handy links that you can use if you really feel like they've got it wrong.